Hi, I'm Charlene Habermeyer. I'm the founder and owner of Good Parenting Brighter Children. Thank you for signing up for my newsletter. I appreciate it. Let me tell you how it works. Every other Tuesday at 8 a.m. Mountain Standard Time, you will receive a notification in your inbox, in your email, about that I have posted a new blog. You can click on it and then it will take you to the blog, it will take you to videos and any other pertinent information that I think will help you on your parenting journey. Now, if you don't look at your email very often, then you can sign up for Messenger and then we will notif uh, notify you through Facebook. So either way, whichever way is easiest and the best for you. The main idea is just so that you get it every other Tuesday at 8 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. Let me tell you a little bit about Good Parenting Brighter Children. It's a huge subject and so what I've done is I want to focus on those areas and those things that will help your child to become smarter, to become brighter, and to do it through stimulating their sense of wonder, creativity, and curiosity. So there's six areas. The first one is parenting, and parenting, as you know, is a huge subject, but I've been in the trenches for 40 years, so I think I come to this subject with a lot of experience. I know what it's like to lose a child. I know what it's like to have a severely learning disabled child. I know what it's like to have kids who whiz through school and kids who don't. So I addressed all of these different topics on the blog under parenting. Another topic is books. If you start reading to your child in utero, do you know that they will become early talkers, early readers, children with sophisticated vocabularies, and do extremely well in school? So I give you all different kinds of ideas of how you can start reading to your children at an early age and read to them every day and help them to fall in love with the world of books, all the way up until they graduate from high school and go on to college. Another section is on music. Did you know that music is the only thing that you and I do that exercises the left, the right, the front, the back portions of our brain simultaneously? It's the only thing we do that exercises the brain, the entire brain at the same time. It's an amazing thing to help kids with learning. It focuses particularly on three really strong areas of the brain that are associated with learning. In these blogs, I talk all about music, how you can get your children involved in music and listening to music while they study, getting them involved in playing a musical instrument, singing to your children, the importance of singing to them, and having them listen to different types of CDs at night while they're going to sleep. And all of these different things musically that will do for their brain and build a brighter child. Another area is nutrition. You know, it's so important that our kids eat right in order for their brains to function correctly. So this section is all about the important foods, the fruits, the vegetables, the fats, the proteins, all of those things that will, will help you to raise a brighter child and help them to focus better and help them to pay more attention and help them to learn easier and better. The other section is on traditions. Traditions are the glue that holds a family together. And every month it seems like there's some kind of a holiday that we can celebrate as families. So I give you different ideas and different things that you can do together as a family. Even planting a garden every spring together as a family can become an important family tradition. The last section is on grandparenting. Did you know that it's been said that there's only two generations of people that we can influence, our children and our grandchildren? However, if we do things with our children and our grandchildren to create a bond, a relationship, that can be passed down and become a legacy, not only to your children and to your grandchildren, but for other generations to come. So this section focuses on what are some of the things that you can do as a grandparent so that you build a strong relationship with that grandchild, that you have a bond with your grandchild that can never be broken, and that they will remember you forever. So those are the six sections, parenting, grandparenting, books, music, traditions, and nutrition. Now let me tell you a little bit about myself and about my family. I have a bachelor's degree in art, I have a master's degree, in education and I have three certifications in nutrition. I'm an author. I, my first book was published in 1999, Good Music, Brighter Children, and it was later translated into five languages. It was then republished in January of 2014 
with 65% new material, and it's available on Amazon. Uh, I also taught college for 10 years. I, uh, the last 35 years, I have lectured to various audiences across the United States, to parents, to educators, and to homeschoolers about the very subjects that I'm now blogging about. So that's a little bit of information about me. Let me tell you about my family. This is a picture of my oldest son, Jason, with his wife, Tiffany, and their four children. They live on the West Coast, and Jason is an attorney. This is my second son, Ryan, and his wife, Jenna, and their four children. They live on the East Coast, and Ryan is a professor of English. This is my third son, Brandon, with his wife, Melissa, and their new little four-month-old baby. They live on the West Coast, and Brandon works in the film industry. This is my last son, Trevor, and his wife, Moe, and their three children. They, too, live on the West Coast, and Trevor works in business. And last but not least, here's a picture of my husband and I, my husband of 43 years, and he is the backbone behind this whole blog. He does all of my IT stuff and makes certain that everything is running smoothly. So let me tell you a couple of uh, last things. You can link to me on Facebook, on Instagram, on Pinterest, and on Twitter. In January of 2019, I will be starting a podcast, Self-Care for Parents. Why? Because parenting is the most difficult, unrelenting job in the world. It never ends, it never stops, and once a parent, always a parent. Even when your children get married, you are still a parent. So I'm going to give you different ideas for both mothers and fathers to help them to get through this incredibly difficult job called parenting, and different ideas on help, helping you to relax, different things that you maybe find interesting. So look for that. And if you look at my website at the very top, there's a section called contact. If you need to contact me, please email me. I'm very good about answering emails quickly. There's also a resource section. And if you click on that, all of these different things that you see behind me, there's books and music and CDs and games and toys and all different kinds of things to help you in your parenting journey. So thank you so much again for subscribing to my newsletter. I hope that you will enjoy taking this journey with me. I'm anxious to have you come with me on Good Parenting, Brighter Children. Thank you.